Okay, so where have we been? Where are we? Um, what are we doing? We are by the beach. In where? In the arcade. Yeah, where are we though? In Sunderfuck. And um, I got a prize. And this alien came with this alien slime. It's quite gooey. And this lollipop. There's, there's Aiden and this water pistol, and that's all we had. When we went down to Saunders for earlier, it was, it was nice. We went to this little chip shop, and the batter on it, it tasted the same sort of texture as a quaver. Oh, it's amazing. And I think we had chips with curry sauce and gravy. Curry sauce was lush, the gravy was nice. We went to this ice cream shop in Saundersfoot and they make ice cream using honey. Oh, it was nice, but the only only little thing I would say about it is one scoop would be enough if you're having it in a cone because it just melts so quick. In the space it took us to walk from the shop down to the, our house, it was a couple of minutes, it, it melted. <laughs> So guys, we are currently staying in Saunders, Saundersfoot in a little place called Sunnyvale. Lovely little place. They got an entertainment for the kids in the evenings. We only stayed for that last night. It was on until about half past eight and then they start the bingo. And they got like a live singer and and the live singer that was on last night was Richard Peachy. Peachy used to be on X Factor back in... 2005 and the only reason I know that is because I googled it but nice no, it's, it's lovely we went down to Tenby today I didn't really film a lot in Tenby because it was just so windy and so so busy <laughs> Eaten, boys. We're not, we're, we're nice. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down for the donuts with Nutella. Good, good. We used to go to Tenby every year, but we haven't been since the start of the pandemic. We this is the first time we've been back. And so much has changed, but they've still got Roly's fudge. I love Roly's fudge. So we're currently on our way up to the club. Maybe Patch will be there tonight. Get our um, Patch membership card stamped. Don't know what uh, sort of entertainment's going to be on tonight, but soon find out. So in Sunnyvale, up the club, they do food as well, and it is quite nice. I had a triple burger last night, and my wife had some dirty fries, and the boys had a pizza, pepperoni pizza. It was it, it, it's pretty good food. And the prices aren't too bad, it's still expensive, but the drinks, I think it's like £5.30, no, £5.30 for a cider, £5.40 for a pint, and it's like £2.70 for a J2O, so it is expensive. But if you're only having one or two up the pub, is up there, it's not too bad, But which is what we normally do. We have a couple up there, and we have a couple in the van then when we come back, we just take a case of, case of your... Favourite beverage with you? So, we are going to the zoo. <laughs> and there's a tiger there. Hey, hey, hi, what are they for me? We'll never be those parents who do those. Hi. Like when they go, Disneyland. yeah, and they're like, yeah. Just like. He's like. It's like, you're telling him, it's like you're telling him. Go away! It's like you're telling him we're going to the dentist. Like. So today we are going to Manor Park Zoo. It's in Tenby. We surprised the boys with it last night. It is 20 past 10, so the zoo opened at 10 o'clock. 
So I think we're going to finish getting ready now and then head on out. Um, today we are at a zoo and these are the wildlife. Manor Park Wildlife. Chilling and sleeping in there. So we're back home from Manor Wildlife Park. It was brilliant. I would go as far to say it was better than Folly Farm. The only downside I would say is they, they're trying to bring out all the, have all this like posh posh drinks and food and it's I mean it's two pound ninety for a mug of tea. So if you were to go there, like we decided at the last minute, but if you were to go there planned I would take a pat lunch or a picnic or something because it is expensive and there's only four of us and we were spending like fifteen pound plus a time to get drinks and ice creams and we didn't have anything to eat because it was too hot yesterday but yeah it would all mount up. I think the only pr pr thing that was reasonably priced there was the pizzas but I don't know how big they were so they could be but no it was a great day Absolutely love the place. Would definitely go back again. But I would definitely pack a picnic or something next time. So today is our final day. You sad to go, Aid? I'm sad to go. We've had such fun. We stayed up late in the club last night. Um, we did see a live act. Aidan trying to show you his animals. 
Elliot's animals. Um, it was pretty good last night. The boys started to get tired. Aiden even fell asleep up there. We've normally been home as soon as the bingo starts up as eight. We normally back in the van, get the boys to sleep. But we thought last night, my wife wanted to watch the singer. So we went and watched him. I think his name is Jim Burns, I think. Always engaging with the audience and that, which is, you know, obviously what you want to see. Um, it was great fun. We also had to, to be going, but we haven't got to be up till 12, which is good. So we're just sort of packing stuff away. Um, Elliot's gone up to the park now. At least if he's out and enjoying himself, he's not getting under our feet <laughs> when we're trying to pack, asking us to play with him. So now we also had to be going, but it's been great. And hopefully we'll be back down this way again soon, because we absolutely love Tempe. And now we're on our way home. On our way home, we're going to stop off at Porth Corbel and we're going to go and watch some wrestling down at Treco Bay. It's free. Yeah. 
So, we've just come back now. We had a fantastic time in Saundersfoot. Um, Sunnyvale, it was a brilliant little place. One thing I will say about Sunnyvale was the arcade. It was alright. The kids seemed to enjoy it, but there was hardly any prizes on the 2P machines. And none of the claw machines really worked. <laughs> you didn't win a prize on one unless you paid three quid for one or the other ones either didn't work very well or they were a bit they just didn't work either the claw wasn't gripping hard enough and nothing would come up so it was a bit of a con really and the entertainment was good I mean we didn't stay up there the Friday and the Saturday but we did stay up late on the Sunday and we saw one of the acts and he was he, 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 he could hold a note but he wasn't very good so yeah and it was the same thing every night for the kids it was it was groundhog day like you'd, you'd have this like this passport book you'd, you'd stamp have two stamps just for turning up you would enter you'd join all these games in all these games it was the same games every night musical bumps um there's one game where they had to shout out for you to get something and you would have to go and take it back and if you if you had five end up ended up getting five tickets you would win a prize but then, with the other stuff, like you'd, a patch was out every night, which is which is good. The kids loved it. Photo opportunity every night to have a photo. But like I said, it was Groundhog Day. You, you had the same things. Like you'd go in, you'd have um, card bingo. You'd have all these games set out. You'd have this exactly the same song. It's like they had a playlist and just press play, and then that was it. Because you know, you'd know after. It was, it was it the Miley a Miley Cyrus song and then a, a country and western song. Once those two songs were on, you know the bingo was going to going to start, and you knew it was time, either time to go or. <laughs> do you know what I mean? If they sort of had different things on every night, different games, different, it would have been good. But that's the only little thing I can think about. It was just like very repetitive every night. Anyway guys, hope you liked the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.